How's it going everyone? I'm Contemption and today CPO 2.0 or CPO Prime or whatever you want to call him, he is here. He is awesome. I am very excited to spin 60 times with this commander, hoping I have good luck. I'm going to do 40 times again tomorrow, get those nice extra rewards. But you know what? Let's make this video quick. I am going to get a few hours sleep and then we've got war on my free to play account in 2563. I'm going to wake up at uh, about 2.45 a.m. in the morning before work. We're going to live stream for just about two hours, nothing more than that. And then I've got to drive to work and do a full shift. So it's going to be a long day tomorrow, but I am excited about it. So let's get through this. I'll post the video and then I'm going to bed. So here we go. Okay, so like I said, I am going to be live streaming soon. We are going into zone six on my free to play account. I only have one march that I can use with 50% troop expansion, but I think it's going to do well. I think it's going to be fun. I should get some decent reports. I'm probably gonna have to change my name a few times just because uh, people have been telling me I'm going to get targeted because of my videos. And that, you know what, that's fine. If you guys wanna chase after a free to play account instead of the T5 whales, then I'm doing my job. If you guys target me and I can pull you into the murder ball because you're trying to get me so so much, that's that's fantastic. My job has been done, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm only going to be able to do it for a couple hours because, like I said, I got to go to work afterwards, but it's going to be fun. Anyways, let's start spinning this guy. We're going to get him unlocked, of course, and let's see how many sculptures we can get, including with these. I'm going to get 15 for sure, so hopefully I can get a lot more than 15, so... Let's hope my luck is better than uh, Holy Knight's Treasure because that luck has been awful lately. Let's click that off. Okay, so not off to a great start. Speed ups and stars. But let's hope these five spins are a lot nicer. Okay, we got one. So with the value of 3,600 gems for five spins, you need at least two commander sculptures per spin for it to be worthwhile. Yes, I'm unlocking him right now. So I guess every sculpture is worth more than that. But afterwards, the VIP shop sells 20 a week for 2,000 gems. So you really need to get more than one for each five spin. And let's hope. Okay, we got two. We got three on that one. So that kind of recovered from the previous spin. And we get these juicy rewards, these extra rewards. You can spin more than 100 spins each time the wheel comes around. But I think you're not going to get as great value and the gem cost. You're burning a lot of gems really quickly. So you really want to get to 100 and then wait for the next wheel. But okay, let's spin again. Let's hope for some luck. We got two there. I need the speed ups and I can trade those eight hours into training speed ups for the next KVK. So that's not too bad. We got one, two. Hey, we got three universal. Oh, we got three sculptures. One's universal and two are CPO 2.0. I think we can actually unlock him now. I think that was enough to unlock him. There he is. That was more than enough. So we got 13 so far. Five were for free. Let's summon him. There he is. We are definitely going to be pushing this commander to expertise before next KVK. I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't even have enough universals to get him to expertise. So I'm going to wait for at least one more wheel. And we don't have KVK again for probably another month and a half. So I'm really in no rush, but let's go back to the wheel and see how many more we can get. We know I've already gotten 13, 10 have been used. I've got three left over. So let's see what we can get. We got one. So we got two sculptures there. That's worth 4,000 gems. So that spin was worth it. I could use the gold. I could actually use the wood. I burned through a lot of wood this KVK. Research speed ups are a big waste. So I don't like seeing those. But what did we get from this? I think some speed ups and resources. Oh, we got five universals. I forgot about that. That's awesome. Well, that adds to it. Okay, let's keep her going and hope for some luck. Okay, so that's one. That's not great. I didn't get research speed ups, which isn't too bad. But one sculpture is not great. We only have 30 more spins. So let's hope for... Wow, another one. Can you give me an eight? Give me an eight. At least the speed ups are good. I don't need the stars and I'll show you that because I'll level this commander to level 60 right away. But that's rough. Okay, we got two that time and great speed ups. I'm not including the research speed ups, but everything else was really good. These 315 hours, so 45 hours of universal speed ups 
is really nice, especially when you're mass healing your hospital during KVK. It really does help. And no commander sculptures. Wow. I did something wrong to Lilith. I really did. They have changed my luck. At least we got those 10 there. So we've got 15 CPO sculptures for spinning the wheel so far. And then we'll see how many more we got. We got two more. We can only spin this two more times. Let's hope for an eight. Like even on the last one would be great. We got two more. Okay, one more chance for an eight. Come on, make it worth it. Eight, wow. I guess maybe I just have to ask. I don't know. <laughs> this is a little bizarre, but I'm okay with that. There's the eight. That's what I wanted. Let's go see how many we got. We know we had 13. We already used 10. So let's see. Oh, he's going to be way at the bottom. We'll change that in time, but let's see what we got. So we got 28 plus 10. So we got 38 and 15 were for free. So we got 23 for that. That's a, it's not great. It's not bad. Don't get me wrong. That eight at the end definitely saved it, but um, it's not bad. I shouldn't complain too much, but let's get him right now to five on the first skill. And we're going to pop him up to level 60 because I want to, and I have the stars and I have the experience tomes and you'll see that in a second. So there we go. First skill is at five. I think the wheel will probably bring me to, I don't know, another two skills. I might get 60, uh, maybe three more skills if I include the next wheel we're going to do as well. But you can't really count on too much from the wheel unless you are max spinning. So 60 every day for three days, 180 instead of doing 100. Then you could definitely get more sculptures. But I just, I am not whale. I'm not whale at all. So there's no way that's happening. Let's, oh, wow, I can't even do more than one of those. I should have thought of that. Okay, you know what? This is a great time to do the Star Trek. So for people who don't know, there is a lot of videos out there. And we'll take one off. Okay, we got, so that's different. I don't know if that's going to work. It kind of threw me off by getting that crit at the first one. Because you can get a little bit higher, I believe. I think we're at 90% right now. We're we? at 80. So typically you can get to 90%, but now I can't. So that's not going to help. But let's do, what if I do max this? But then I only have 30% chance. Let's go like that. 45% chance, you can think I can get four star. I think so. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. And ah, we got it. There you go. So I think there's different ways of doing it, but obviously that way worked. So I'm not complaining. It threw me off a little bit at the beginning there with that crit, but now we've got a four star commander or so. Yeah. Four star commander at level 10, which is pretty cool. And that's something you can do as long as you have the, you know, dazzling and blessed ones. Besides that, it's yeah. You can't really do a whole lot with just normal stars. But let's, let's work. It doesn't matter about the star trick on this commander because I'm going to get him to level 60 anyways. But I think it was good for just content, just seeing how you do it. If anybody is curious about it and we will go like that and boom. And we got that. See, I don't, I don't need these bundles. They're great. If I was a new player, I would 100% get them if it was my main account. But besides that, I, I don't really need them. I've got 2,600 stars. And as you can tell, a bunch of the other higher ones. So I really don't need it. Let's get him to level 50, which will be easy. Maybe I'll blow through level seven. Oh, look at that. I got through level seven. And he's finished now. This bundle as well. Really good. If you are a new player and you're willing to spend the money uh, on these bundles I think they're great I really like them especially for man for like kvk season one to get those bundles beforehand that's awesome let's do a couple of these I'm not gonna do too many and then we'll get rid of that because I don't have a lot of those ones and we'll just develop these I don't think that's great luck we got a couple crits though and then we'll just just do the normal way we've got lots of stars I just like playing around with it Maybe get some, you know, save some of the stars for no reason at all. I'm never going to spend them. By the time I'm ready to expertise another commander, I've gained the stars that I've used. It's, 
I'm just not whale enough to be able to spend them fast enough. It's just not going to happen. I, I'll never be that kind of player. Okay, he's level 60. There we go. Now, I love that he has the support tree. It does make him more of a target out an open field because he doesn't have the defensive tree, obviously. I do love the defensive tree on infantry commanders, which is why I love using Richard and Charles Martel and even Leonidas I've used as a primary. But I think, I don't think I'll be using CPO Prime as a primary commander. But if I was to do that, obviously I would get these. Uh, this one, when troops led by this commander take skill damage, there's a 50% chance that they will gain an additional 15% skill reduction for the next three seconds. Now, is that worth it? Or, because you can only get that. Or is it worth it to go here? I think, I know we can go to hold the line. Right, we're going to go to Undying Fury, that's without a doubt. And we're going to go, I'm going to go up here as well. Because I like that health. We're going to get the march speed. Yeah, this isn't bad. I could, I would definitely roll with this. Uh, and where we could, we could either get defense. I don't need attack. Do we have, that's only half a percent of health. So we'll go with the 1% defense. So this, honestly, you're not going to touch versatility. You should never be going into versatility in any circumstance ever. I, I don't, like, I understand there's insight here for barbarians, but just use a peacekeeping commander. Uh, I don't I don't see the need for it but this is 100% the talent tree I'll fight with it may be worth it to get rid of emergency protection in some I don't know though because you're you're gonna be hit with a lot of AoE damage in open field in murder balls and this is any time this commander takes skill damage and it's 50% chance too so emergency protection is really strong guys I don't know if Elite Soldier is worth it because you have to go through Snare of Thorns and that's just really not that good. I've got commanders that are going to be reducing march speed anyways and I'd rather go for Cage of Thorns to be honest with you because it's an AoE effect, kind of the same size as Joan and I did have a video like that showing exactly how big the AoE was for Cage of Thorns. It's actually really cool. I have it on my Constantine. But there you go. That's the skill tree. I hate the zooming in and out on uh, the PC version. But there you go. That's my skill tree. That's what I'm going to go with if I run CPO as a primary. So there you go, guys. I spanned the wheel 60 times. We didn't get super lucky with it, but it wasn't terrible. I have to do 40 more tomorrow to get that 100 extra uh, rewards chest, which is fantastic. Another 15 uh, CPO sculptures. It's going to be a while before I expertise them. I do not have enough universal legendary sculptures and I have time. I'll wait for another wheel and I'll spin it to 100 again and then... That's probably when we'll be able to expertise them. And then I'll be able to test them and use them out in open field. Obviously, for my next KVK, he is going to be used a lot. We're going to get a lot of kills on this guy. And I'm excited to put him behind uh, Guan. And I'm sure we'll see videos from other content creators on what else he can be paired with. That works really well in open field. However, I think Guan's silence is just so strong. Having that uh, increased damage by 10%. And when the target is silenced, rage grows 30% faster. Like, Guan silences someone for three seconds. After your initial skill cast, it's going to take seven to eight seconds to cast again. Probably less because you're going to gain that 30%. So it could be six to seven turns before you're casting your skills again, which puts the silence on. So you're gaining rage for a majority of the time you're out in open field, especially if you have a bunch of Guans attacking the same person then I imagine that'll still work is it just the target you're attacking uh, when the target yeah when the target you're attacking is silent so you could get this from your allies as well who's attacking the same target as you so it's going to be nuts I can't wait to read some of the reports once he's expertised but until next time guys I know it was a short video but I'm going to be live streaming soon so have a good night I will see you later bye